In the past lecture, we looked at the, the introduction of singularity functions as applied to beams and uh, while drawing the shear force and the Benny moment diagrams. Let us just give an example on integration of singularity functions and later on we'll look at a simple example on how we can implement the singularity functions to beams. If we have any less than zero, as we had already said, that for any less than uh, zero, uh, for example, if we have n equal to negative one, then n is equal to negative two, for example, in the case of a unity doublet, then it means we are going to integrate from zero, for example, to x of uh, a singularity bracket open x minus a cross the with, with the singularity brackets, then power n it will equal to x minus a singularity bracket power n plus one that is for any less than zero for example if we have uh, a load function w of x equal to m uh, into x minus eight power negative two if we integrate uh, this uh, load distribution function we get the shear force uh, function now if we integrate it with respect to x we find that we are going to get m into x minus 8 power negative 1. If we further integrate this uh, shear force function, we will get the Benny moment function, and this will be integral of v of x dx, and this will give us m of x minus a to power 0. It's a matter of adding 1, and uh, we leave around the other issue of multiplying by the original power this way and uh, we just maintain n plus one so that rule is what we are going to use for n less than zero but where we have n greater than zero then it will always be n plus one divided by the new power okay we are saying for n greater than zero then the integral of zero from zero to x of x minus eight power n with respect to x will give you x minus a power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. If the load condition is, for example, described by y of bracket x minus 2, then bracket squared, then if we integrate it, if this is the load function, then we integrate it, we will get v of x. So v of x will be uh, 3 into x minus 2 to power 3 of course we have added by 1 now divided by the new power which is power 3 divided by 3 now plus the integral i mean plus the constant of integration so this will give us v of x x minus 2 to power 3 then plus c1 then uh, m of x therefore will come from the integral of this again it will be x minus 2 to power 4 divided by the new power which is 4 then plus c1 times x cos plus c2 this is specifically how we do the integration of the singularity function 1 for n less than 0 and for n greater than 0 those two conditions are very important now let us look at an example in this particular case the loading condition below uh, is given as we have seen determine the expressions for shear force and bending moment using singularity function so this is a pin support this is a roller support and they carry uh, the, the beam carries a, a load of 450 newtons and uh, at a span of 300 millimeter from a and 150 millimeter from b now we need to first get the free body diagram, then do the apply the equilibrium conditions, then we are able to determine these reactions. And the uh, summation of forces in the vertical direction should be equal to zero. So AY plus BY will equal to 450. All upward forces are equal to downward forces. The horizontal forces are equal to zero and therefore AX is equal to zero. Uh -huh. The sum of moments also about the point should be equal to zero. So if we take moments about A, we'll have BY in the anticlockwise direction times the distance. Uh, okay, it will be BY, BY times 
450 450 this is 150 millimeter plus 300 so it will be in the anti-clockwise direction then that is the 450 uh, newton force by 300 millimeter which is a moment in a clockwise direction uh, this gives us by as 300 newtons and this gives us ay as uh, if we apply this uh, equation number one ay plus by equals 450 then ay would give us 150 newton okay then we now fit in our values 150 newtons here 300 newtons here now the load function will be 2 of x for example uh, into 150 remember this is now a, a what this is um, the origin you have y this way you have x this way then you are applying the singularity function uh, from this point so where do you make the cut you make the cut between the origin and the last event or the last load the last load is the 300 newtons and is here so we can leave it out only one so uh that means we'll have 150 newtons at the distance zero from the origin and we will have um we will have uh, i mean it will be at a distance x this one we will be applying uh a moments about x so the 150 newton has a distance x from the section so the load function will be 150 x minus zero since uh, uh, it is uh, x uh, it's that span of x from the section so it will be x minus zero then power negative one since it is a point load here the, we, we take it as a point load uh, going vertically upwards then minus 450 which is a point load going vertically downwards uh, times x minus 0 0.3 let us just convert it to meters and it will act at a distance equivalent to um, from here to there is 0 0.3 okay then from here to here is x so the distance that we are talking about that we want is the one from here to x since the x is somewhere there at a distance less than 150 millimeter then we will, we will not be knowing it but what we know is from one uh, from zero to uh, the end of 0 0.3 meters so we will subtract minus 450 times x minus 0 0.3 power negative 1 we proceed to the function for shear force it will be 150 it's a matter of integrating what is here so if i integrate this i'll have 150 x minus 0 power 0 minus 450 x minus 0 0.3 power 0 or you can just look at it and say this is 150 uh, times x minus 0 to power 0 and minus 450 into uh into x minus 0 0.3 the where it acts is 0 0.3 and the where uh, uh, the moments the, about x uh, about the section x x the distance is uh, x minus 0 0.3 so that's why we multiply it by 0 0.3 let us look at the Benny moment equation it will be the integral of all of these uh, this will be 150 x minus 0 to power 1 minus 450 into x minus 0 0.3 to power 1 so this is how we are able to implement the singularity function and uh, this is the easiest method of uh, getting the bending moments and the shear forces in the beam along a distance x from the origin o uh, now this is uh, how the bending moment and the shear force uh, diagrams will look like uh, this will be 150 and it will be at a it will be a constant up to when we meet the 450 uh, newtons so the 450 newtons it will go down 450 then down here it will be 300 that's why you see this one is longer than that so this will be 300 and it will be now at negative 300 here it will be at 150 so negative 300 remains constant then we will find a positive 300 so we move up to zero so the shear force will end at zero what about the bending moment diagram 
the bending moment diagram since uh, this is horizontal then this is going to be a line uh, it is horizontal but positive so for the bending moment diagram this will be a straight line with a positive gradient uh, this one is negative and therefore what will be given here uh, the bending moment diagram this side it will become a straight line with a negative gradient since the shear force uh, on the shear force diagram this side is negative uh, in summary we have seen that if you are given a beam and the you are required to determine the bending moments and shear forces then you 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 need to and you need to apply the singularity function In summary you need a free body diagram you need the coordinate system you have to indicate the x and y axis then with the origin find the reactions uh, then make a cut between the start o and the end of the last event if you have distributed loads then you need to treat them specially if you have a uniformly distributed load then for it's a, a bending moment for that particular load will be a w out of 2 x minus a, a to power 2 that is for uniformly distributed load if it is um, a triangular then you also know if it is a uh, this general uh, case then you also know ah so let us look at if it is a bending moment and we have uh, the moment the concentrated the moment applied then we will have m uh, into x minus a power zero if it is a concentrated force it will be f that the bending moment will be f times x minus eight power one if it is a distributed force then it will be and if it, um, if it is rectangular, it will be W out of 2x minus a squared, as we had already said. If it is triangular, it will be W out of 6 into arrow, which is the length of the beam, minus a, the point where the load starts from, then times x minus a power 3. If you have a general case with slope k, then the load function will be k x minus 8 power n the shear force function will be k out of n plus 1 into x minus a power n plus 1 you just integrate this and use the normal integration for n greater than 1 for n i mean for n greater than 0 then a bending moment uh, function still you integrate this and uh, since this one is facing downwards, then this k will be negative. Then x minus a, n plus 2, uh, divided by n plus 1 into n plus 2. That's all. Thank you so much uh, for us in the next videos as we explore more on the utilization of the singularity function. You have seen that the singularity function helps you to uh, handle uh, handle write the bending moment equation and uh, the shear force equation even in the complicated loading conditions otherwise using the method of sections and other methods you would take a lot of time to analyze and um, really this singularity function is worth giving more chance and more time thank you so much for watching